Who's more, there's that word again, besides our spouses, who's more under pressure to win this weekend? Is it Lamar Jackson or Josh Allen? Jason. Imagine if we did our throwdown, which spouse is under most. We're not doing that. No. Don't go, don't, don't go home after. Um, I'm going with Lamar Jackson on this one. <laughs> Yesterday I went on a whole spiel about why this year is different for the Baltimore Ravens. They got Todd Munkin as an OC. Lamar's throwing the ball from the pocket. The weapons that he has on the outside, whether Zay Flowers, OBJ, Rashad Bateman, is having one of his better seasons. Oh, yeah, Mark Andrews might be back. For all those reasons, he's under the most, most pressure because this year it has been different. It's supposed to be different. They've knocked off the hottest teams. When Detroit came rolling in, when they were at the top of the league, they beat up on them. Yeah. They beat up on Seattle. Miami, the best offense in the NFL, they shut that down. The 49ers were coming in as the big dogs, and they knocked them off as well. So I look at these Ravens, and they've gotten a chance to rest up get healthy. Everybody's looking to them to be in Vegas this year. It's supposed to be Lamar's year, possibly the MVP. So I'm going to say he has the most pressure between these two. It's a great take. I'm going to do a cheers here for uh, Jamie McDermott and for Ingrid Harbaugh, the wives of both nice. head coaches. Oh, wow. so I think both head coaches have a ton of pressure as well. Oh, on, Peter. This one. Harbaugh's had some early playoff exits. McDermott hasn't been able to get over the hump and beat his old mentor, Andy Reid. I, I, I look at this one and I think of the quarterbacks and I think Josh Allen needs it this one. Pressure's on Josh, I think. Mm. I know if Lamar loses, it's this crazy loss to a Houston Texans, but Lamar's so young and still has so much more to go. Josh Allen has been in these big games and he's been at these big stages. I feel like Lamar and that Todd Munkin thing is just clicking right now. They're going to be going for years. This feels like the window for Josh Allen, and it's a lot of reasons. It's because they're home finally against Mahomes. It's because the last few years they've come up short when they've been favored in games, and I think in this case, if Josh Allen loses, it's like what's making next year any different than this year? If Lamar loses, yeah, it's going to be, why can't Lamar win in these playoff games? But I also feel like, all right, but they, they've got this thing going again, and Lamar's in this new offense, and there's plenty of hope. Josh, I, I don't know what possibly could be in a better place in a better situation than right now. It's a great question because I'm hearing everything you're saying, and I, I still think it's Lamar. There's a ton on Josh, but I think it's on Lamar. There's the gl most glaring playoff losses are the one seed, one and done. So mm -hmm. like the, mm. those are tough. Yeah. Especially you're going to lose to a rookie quarterback. Like mm. at home, that, that is a tough, ugly loss. Added to which. I do think he'll win MVP. So what, he's going to show up to honors in Vegas, and you're like, oh, dude, what happened, Lamar? Are you knocked on the divisional again? Did that last time. I know. It's rough. So I also think there's a more acute pressure on him, something I talked about yesterday. They've played four playoff games under Lamar. They have not scored a point in the first quarter of any of those games. Here's how Lamar, Lamar has played in the first quarter of his four career playoff games. That is, again, total. He's only 9 of 16, 75 yards, 0 of 2. Passer rating just abysmal. So there's this pressure to like immediately exercise the demons of the playoffs. And if Houston ends the first quarter, they're up six nothing. Or if it's 13-7 at halftime, it's all gonna come crawling back. MVP seasons don't go one and done as a one seed. You don't lose the rookie quarterbacks. Then he's one and four in the playoffs. That's rough. With two MVP years. Two MVP Daniel years. Leonard, that's... Like, look, Josh oh. Allen. They beat the Steelers last year. They got another. Last week they got another playoff win. It's There's bad. tons of pressure. And I went for a long time about the demons he has with the Chiefs, and they're there for sure. I still think Lamar's a little bit more. Mm. You know, neither of those guys, as far as we know, are married, so we can't cheers to their spouses, Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen, so we can't go that direction. If these things Ingrid. don't if these things don't go well for either of these quarterbacks yeah. this weekend, are we looking at a Chiefs at Texans AFC title game? No. Is that it's a Texans at Texans Chiefs. at Arrowhead. Texans at it would be the Arrowhead invitational. Yeah, that's a circle back. That, that's the 